How's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and we're here with another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video. Alright, so we're doing a mixed tier match between myself and a passerby. So I begin with my Scarfed Braviary, shiny color, heck yeah, it's blue, my favorite color, what up? So we see Donphan at the start here, go for Stealth Ox, very unfortunate because like I don't have a spinner, a rapid spinner for that matter there, but We'll just do the best we can. So I immediately you turn out, like I said, and I go into Galvantula. The Spider Volt here, that's the nickname for Galvantula. Really awesome Pokemon. It has Energy Ball, Thunder, Volt Switch, and Bug Buzz. So really good set there. Unfortunately, my opponent knows that I have Energy Ball, so he switches out, goes into Charizard S. I wasn't sure what he was going to do at this point. I decided to go with the switch out to Cresselia here because I actually went and got another Cresselia for competitive play. This one is a defensive variant. And we see the Charizard X Dragon Dance up and this is Really scary, just saying, because, okay, it's a Mega, and it's setting up even more. So how much power is that? Through the roof. It's crazy. So, I mean, I don't have... Th the only option I have that I would hopefully use to my potential is to have Cresselia go with a Thunder Wave to slow him down, and to set up with Reflect and Light Screen. So after the Reflect, that Dragon Claw, which would be boosted, it did that much to my Cresselia. So that is really good news to see there. And so expecting him to switch out, I went for the Light Screen to raise my Special Defense. So that way Special Moves won't do very much. I decided to go with a side shock because I was like, okay, maybe Sylveon would be especially defensive, and that was a critical hit, and that did that much. Okay, this is a red flag warning that that is a max HP, max physical defense Sylveon. I was a little bit surprised by that because most of the time when you're battling a Sylveon, it would have max HP and max special defense because that's how awesome Sylveon is. Sylveon has like really high special defense. You would want to invest it into that category there when you're super training it or EV training it. Whatever it's called, yeah. So anyway, with that said, I go with the Guild Master, the Wiggly Cuff. That reference though, that reference is to the mystery dungeon games when Wigglycuff is the guild master of the huge guild that it has going on in the mystery dungeon games. I'm really excited for the other, or actually the brand new mystery dungeon game coming out in December. That's gonna be very sweet. Anyway, so Guildmaster is here to set up with that charge beam. He switches out, goes into Rotom Wash form. He burns my Wigglycuff, but Wigglycuff does not care for that. Well, I mean, okay, it does have residual damage, but I have a Citrus Berry here, which will restore my health, like you see right here. I thought that a plus one dazzling gleam would do a lot more than it does. Wow, such a pity. I I was a little bit sad to see that just because I set up the plus one modifier to my special attack from that charge beam. I would 
I would think that it would do a lot more than what you just saw. So unfortunately, Wiggly Tough goes down without not doing that much, to be honest. I mean, it did try, but not enough. Just not enough. Anyway, so you see the pointed stones are into my Pokemon here. I don't have a rapid spinner. Very unfortunate. And so, yeah, we need to keep Galvantula in here as much as possible because if I switch out again, then I will be taking more Stealth Rock damage. This is a choice spec Galvantula, which will boost up your special attack by a lot, but I'm locked in on Thunder, so I have to keep using that move. At any point, my opponent could have switched out into Dawnfan, but he ends up switching out into Sylveon, which is fine by me. I mean, Sylveon has good special offense anyway, so I mean, that's, I guess, okay. But fortunately, we paralyzed the Sylveon, but Galvantula is pretty fast in general, so that Paralysis did not matter in the long run. That's totally fine by me. We're able to two hit KO the Sylveon there. If Sylveon was, say, max HP, max special offense, then I would guess that would be a three hit KO or a four hit KO to a lesser extent there. But no, we're able to two hit KO it, and that's a okay by me. So I know that Bisharp, Bisharp can carry Sucker Punch right here. Sucker Punch is a priority move that will strike first if you're using an attacking move. So, and just how powerful this thing is. This is crazy talk because I tried to attack him with my Braviary, but my shiny Braviary goes down to that Sucker Punch. That sucks. That's, that's really powerful, I have to say. And we're going to try out my Mega Absol here. Mega Absol is a Pokemon that I haven't used that much. So we're going to try him out. It has a special move, Play Rough, which would be neutral to Bisharp. That's the only option I have to hit with. But after that Iron Head, I'm like, uh-oh, this is bad because, okay, I have my Galvantula Spider Volt, but... I just let this Bisharp KO three of my Pokemon. That's not good. Not good at all. So, my last chance to win this fight is to go into my Shiny Hatsuris. My Shiny Hatsuris is going to set up here. You see that he tried going for another Dragon Dance, but I set up instead of attacking him. I also thought, okay, he knows I have a Dragon Dance boost, and he knows I could set up even more, expecting me to know that he would go for a Sucker Punch. So I predicted him a lot right there. So he went for the, I guess, Iron Head, because that wasn't Sucker Punch he was going for. And guess what? We have a Hasteris just KO things. It's just a nice comeback from it's what the bishop was doing to me. It's like kiss their own medicine to my opponent here. So I knew that this Don fan would probably take a hit. And that's totally fine because if I get confused, you see right there I have a lumberry to snap out of confusion and the combination of the Earthquake and the Ice Shard. Ice Shard is a priority move, so he's going first. I thought I would not live it, but I live with 9 HP. I'm like, phew! I mean, honestly, this is my only win condition at this point because Galvantula, Spire Volt is gone. What else is gone? My other Pokemon were gone too, so yeah. My only win condition is to have Hasteris just KO things in the process, and that's the only way for me to win this fight, so... We see Superior... Superior is not superior in this fight. Haha! -ha. And this is the ultimate truth! I snap out of my confusion? Not! I should have snapped out of confusion right there. I... Ugh! Man! Had I attacked him, I would have won this fight. Okay? I would have won this fight 
how did I not hit myself in confusion? So, my last Pokemon is Cresselia. Cresselia is a great physical wall for Charizard X, but I did not invest in special attack. So that's why Psyshock is not doing a lot of damage. So I'm like praying for a critical hit. I live with one HP point. Oh my gosh, this is the ultimate truth. And not did that much. So yeah, I would have won this fight if my Hasteris did not hit himself in confusion there. But still, that was just down to the water of a match. Just an epic fight. These are the battles that I'm striving for. Just having this kind of a match. There you go. That's, that's like the ultimate epic fight that you'll ever see. Of course, that's just... Uh, anyway, so I'm just so happy to have this fight. If you get... If you get... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! Ah! Uh, okay, this is so hyping me up here. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for some more narrated Wi-Fi battles as epic as this one is in the near future. Alright, you guys have a great day and I'll come back at you with another upload here soon.